There are over 400 sites in Gulf State Park. We're going to show as many as we can and share details of the sites in Gulf State Park. Let's get started. Sites 464 to 468 are at the very east end of the campground. There are also about a mile from the pool and tennis courts. If you want to ride your bike to the beach through the campground, it is about two and a half miles. These sites are also quite far from a bathhouse. From site 468, it is four tenths of a mile to the nearest bathhouse. There is a turnaround for you to use here, and the Catman Trail is here at the end of the park and gives you a great connection to the trail system. You can also find the end of the Armadillo Trail at the end of the park. This trail starts at the tent sites and walks you between the sites in Middle Lake through the woods with a connection to the Middle Lake Overlook Trail. The map is from Gulf State Park. We'll put a link in our description as there is a lot of detail. Sites 463 to 447 are just a little closer than the previous set. You will see these are all pull-throughs. Each site has a grill, picnic table, and full hookup. These are some of the most secluded sites in the park. We like how the connection side is to the road and the door awning side of the RV faces the woods. There is a lot of green space here and it is a quieter area of the park. The stars are more visible here too if your neighbors turn the lights off and enjoy the dark sky like we do. The Wi-Fi is very good throughout the park. It doesn't matter where you are in the park. The repeaters are on multiple towers and broadcast a good net. To access the number 11 bathhouse, take a right up here and go to Possum Road. These sites also have a lot of room. Between sites 442 and 440 is the Middle Lake Overlook Trail. This trail is a short walk with a great view of Middle Lake. It's a little scary on tight boardwalk. You will constantly look for alligators. If you are lucky, you will see salamanders on the boardwalk. If you need RV repair, we noticed a few like this company working daily. We thankfully haven't had a need for them during our stay, but know they are available. As we ride through the campground, we'll add some other bits you might find helpful. Have you heard in 2023 the Hugh S. Branyon Backcountry Trail was designated the best recreational trail in the country by USA Today? The trail includes 28 miles of paved and boardwalk surface that allows access to the park. On the trail you can see wildlife including birds, alligators, and other reptiles. Some of the birds you can see include osprey eagle, seagulls, and pelican. Along the trail are many stops to enjoy recreation and relaxation. There is a parkour course, many benches and viewpoints, butterfly garden, the Gulf State Park Beach, and the fishing pier. Coming up are a few primitive tent sites in the park. Tents are allowed on the RV sites, and you can reserve an RV site without having an RV. The tent sites, 11 to 1, are here, and to the left you will see the Armadillo Trail. They are nestled in the woods and provide a great experience. You'll see the sites come with picnic tables. I'm sure the trees help shade campers and provide a cooler camping experience. We didn't walk back to see what is all included in these sites. You may want to call to learn more before making a reservation. From here we turn left onto Rabbit Road. The group camping site is here and swings are next to that site. We noticed an alligator relaxing in the ditch or on the culvert here most days. Sites 199 to 316 are in this loop. You will notice the speed limit on this road is only 5 miles per hour. The main road is limited at 15 miles per hour. The loop is closer to the pool and hospitality hub. This is a big loop with three bathhouses. Also notice the variety of RVs and camping setups. There is room for class A's with tag axles and the large gooseneck trailers. We'll show you a really cool Super Class C later.
Gator Road starts at the intersection with Sites 201 to 228. The Swimming Pool, Nature Center, Tennis Courts, and Campground Store are located on Middle Lake inside the campground. There is a $2 fee per vehicle to get into the campground if you are staying in the park camping at the park lodge or in a cabin. We don't know if the pool is heated, but it always seems like a better alternative to the ocean when the weather is cool. The splash pad is a lot of fun, too. The pool area is in a protected location, maybe sheltered by the pool entrance with less wind. Tennis and pickleball courts are next to the pool and are used often. You will see them through the trees up ahead. There are four tennis courts at the facility, however, two are set up for pickleball and have basketball hoops inside the fence. Tucked away behind the pool and nature center are horseshoe pits, beach volleyball, swings, and monkey bars. The nature center gets good reviews, and they always have something interesting to share about the reptiles, birds, fish, other wildlife, general habitat, and conservations in the area. Throughout the park, hidden in plain sight, are a number of playgrounds with swings, climbing installations, and other equipment that will help you pass the time. There are many spots along the inland ponds and lakes that are great for fishing. A freshwater fish license is required. Make sure to pack your bike and hiking or running shoes. There is so much to explore and discover. The Middle Lake sites 220 to 267 are actually on Middle Lake. If you watch the lake, you might see alligators swim by. Gulf State Park is located between Gulf Shores and Orange Beach in Alabama's share of the Gulf of Mexico shoreline. The turquoise coast is magnificent, and Alabama did it right by protecting thousands of acres for the benefit of all. Let us know if marking every site with a number is helping you. We notice the numbering system jumps a little bit, and even though you can see the numbers on the pavement, we hope this made it easier for you. Gulf State Park is very affordable. Tent sites are about $30 per night. RV sites vary, and most of the sites are priced between $60 to $70 per night. The canal sites, which we will show later, are in the $80 to $90 range. Pricing also varies depending on the time of year, weekday, or weekend. The park has hundreds of sites for RVers, and reservations can be made at allapark.com. We'll include this link in our description, too. This is one of the largest campgrounds we've been to. There are over 400 sites. Most are full hookup RV sites with water, sewer, and electric. The electric has 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp outlets. If you turn on the 20 amp breaker, the night light on the power post will turn on. Many of the campsites have their own charm. Some of the pull-throughs offer almost complete seclusion. Sites on the canal provide a fantastic view of the waterway. You might even see an alligator swim by. Sites close to the pool allow for easy access to the tennis courts, pool, nature center, volleyball, and other activities. Campsites are well-maintained, and each one is a little different. As you can see on the campground map, many of the pull-throughs are arcs off the main streets. These are unique in that they provide the hookups on the roadside, and the camping site is usually facing a great view. Other than the canal road and sites near the front entrance, many pull-throughs face the woods or other parklands. Our most recent site seemed very secluded and quiet, although it was a long distance from the pool and other amenities. All the sites look level as you would expect on the coast, and they are all paved asphalt similar to the roads throughout the park. Camping is a big part of Gulf State Park, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have. Biking, walking, and jogging are big in Gulf State Park. Pay attention as you travel through the park. Kids can dart out of nowhere, and there is a lot of traffic on the main road. Also, with almost 500 campsites, people are moving every day, and the weekends are the busiest. As I review this video, I wonder whether or not we should have stopped for the guy on the left. Sites 317 to 320 are here, and we will turn right next. Dogs love Gulf State Park. There are miles of road with the campground to enjoy, and dogway stations are available with bags and a waste can throughout Gulf State Park. In the campground, there are hiking trails like the Armadillo Trail and the Middle Lake Overlook Trail that we mentioned earlier that are easily accessible. The miles of trails we mentioned earlier are all available for dog walking, too. Park rules require dogs to stay on a six-foot leash, and you will want them on a leash, too. Alligators are present in the park and even in the campground. By the group camping site is where we saw one. And dangerous snakes are also known to live in the park. Dogs will find rabbits to chase, and we've seen armadillo roaming around at nighttime. Dogs are prohibited on the beach and in some other areas of the park due to bird protections. We're on Possum Road now and looking at sites 336 to 408. 
You'll notice here too that golf cars are allowed in the park and you'll see a good reason to keep dogs on a tight leash. Watch until the end of this road for an amazing rig. Do you ever get RV envy? The dog pond at Shelby Lake is reserved for canines. The dog park is open 8 a.m. to dusk and allows dogs off leash under voice control. There is a list of rules for the dog park that we won't bother with here, but we'll share a link to those in our description. There are bathhouses in the campground and bathrooms located throughout the park. There are 11 bathhouses which are well maintained with good shower sinks and toilets. We used them while we were camping, but also to wash off after the beach. They've renovated all of them over the last few years and the upgrades make a difference. They are solid structures that are good for shelter and storms too. Self-service laundry is available for a fee at the campground store building. The store has firewood, ice, logoed products like sweatshirts and magnets, snacks, RV supplies, and beach gear for purchase. They are also a good concierge if you have questions about the park and surrounding area. If you need to rent a bike, they can be rented here for a fee as well. We were very surprised to find great Wi-Fi connectivity at the campground. I don't think I've ever been able to work at a campground through their Wi-Fi as well as here. It is better in the morning and gets slower throughout the day and into the evening. So plan hard usage in the morning. Gulf State Park is one of the few campgrounds we visit with recycling available. There is a blue bin and dumpsters near the entrance to the park. The recycle bin is two-sided and has spots for cans, cardboard, glass, and plastic. Try to use the recycling bins for their purpose. We've seen beach chairs, plastic bags, and general garbage in the recycling, and it just makes it harder for the recycling company to do their job. Also at the entrance is a fish cleaning station. We saw it in use every morning. Are you getting a sense of how big this park is? told you there was a nice rig and here it is. Sites 123 to 185 are next. This section of the video is slower as I chose to walk this loop. There are two bathhouses in this loop and the campground trail runs along the back side of the sites. These sites are in the middle of the park and close to the pool, tennis courts, and other activities. The fishing pier sustained damage during Hurricane Sally. With sustained winds of 105 miles per hour and at least one gust over 120 miles per hour, the Category 2 hurricane traveled over the area at only 2 miles per hour causing significant damage to Alabama. Today the pier is open for fishing and saltwater fishing licenses are required. The licenses can be purchased online. We'll put a link in our description with more details. There is a fee to visit the pier and it varies based on your residency, camping in the park, and other factors. Included on the pier is a gift snack and bait shop, beachside bar and grill, fillet table and modern bathrooms. On calm days you can see a variety of fish from the pier including sharks, rays, manatee, and game fish including mackerel, sheep's head, and flounder to name a few. Are you enjoying your time here at Camp Brood? Subscribe now while you are watching to learn about camping and hiking in the national parks. Orange Beach and Gulf Shores are full of shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues. Nearby you can find many shirt shops. Right outside the park is Ron John's Surf Shop and down the street is Surf Style and others. Stores are plentiful including Walmart and Dollar General if you need quick supplies or groceries. There are an unlimited number of restaurants. Our favorite is Pier House near Ron John and you will find chain food as well including at least two waffle houses. There are even a few restaurants in the park. We had a good time casual dining at the Woodside Restaurant. There we found good service yard games including ping pong, bing bags, and volleyball and live music. For entertainment outside the park, you can find mini golf, go-karts, arcades, and more. Just check Google Maps to be overwhelmed by all the retail and game-like attractions. The beach at Gulf State Park is one of the best we've been to. There are a few ways to attack the beach while in the park. The fishing pier has a large parking lot and bike racks to spend your day there. The advantages the gift shop, pier, and restaurant provide ways to escape the sun and provide some alternate entertainment to make a day of it. The beach stretches for miles and walks along the shoreline will take you to hotel properties, space for meditation, and exploring for shells and shark teeth. The main pavilion is the second way of scoring a place on the sand. 
Sometimes there is fog, as we encountered, and it's not always sunny in 75. Again, with parking on bike racks, the beach is easily accessible by a couple boardwalks. Full bathrooms are located here for your convenience, as well as picnic tables and showers to remove the sand at the end of the day. We found this beach quite busy and great for people watching, getting a lot of sun, and again exploring the shoreline. Our favorite spot is way more difficult to get to, but just as amazing for different reasons. The shoreline here is flatter and great for skimboarding. At the campground road, there is parking for five vehicles and bike racks. So if you can secure a parking spot or travel by bicycle, it makes it a little easier. The walk to the beach from this lot is still a journey. Otherwise, you need to walk west from the pavilion more than a half mile to reach this spot. It is popular for surf casting as there are fewer people and less congestion. We found it to be quiet, almost lonely at times. However, the skimboarding was epic. Speaking of the beach, our brood loves to play in the water all day. However, I like to relax on the sand sometimes too. I learned a while ago to enjoy my time on the beach and watch them carefully. I couldn't read books. I need to keep a closer eye on them, especially during yellow and red flag days. Audible.com solves that problem. I can listen to a book or podcast and enjoy my time on the beach while they safely enjoy playing in the waves. We also love Audible for long travel days in our RV. Check out our description for a free trial, cancel any time offer with Amazon to try Audible today. There are a few lakes in Gulf State Park. One dimension is Lake Shelby for all it has to offer. It's just inside the shore near the fishing pier. There is a boat launch, kayak launch, and kayak, canoe, and paddleboard rentals. Your brood will love the playground and picnic area. Swimming is allowed. However, be aware of your surroundings for alligator, snakes, and other wildlife. Restrooms are also available, and as mentioned previously, the dog park is located here too. Have you ever wanted to take a Segway tour? You have your chance to segue the best trail in the nation with a rental shop on Shelby Lake. We'll put details in our description for your reference. Gulf State Park is a great place to play the following worldwide game of hide-and-seek. Do you know about geocaching? If not, geocaching is searching for containers throughout the world using latitude and longitude and clues provided with mobile apps. There are many websites that support geocaching. Learn our favorites by checking out the video description. Gulf State Park supports geocaching, and you can bike and hike with purpose, geocaching throughout the park. You never know what treasure you might find, but you will definitely find logbooks to autograph and a fun adventure of hide-and-seek. For those from out of state, you need to understand the trip from the Great Lakes to Alabama. Our brood has traveled to Gulf State Park a few times. Like many others, we drove down for the sun, sand, and relaxation. The drive down I-65 is brutal. During spring break, travelers from Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, and all the Great Lakes states drive down I-65 with one destination in mind, the Gulf of Mexico. On the way down south, the traffic builds through Louisville, Nashville, Birmingham, Montgomery, and finally southern Alabama. Car drivers take away your stopping distance, and there are many dangerous brake checks that test your nerve. We've seen some scary accidents, too. With only two lanes, the southern traffic is more than I-65 can handle. Beware, we all stop at Bucky's, so expect it to be busy and insane. On the way north, the drive out of Alabama is just as bad and will be until I-65 is widened to three lanes. The Logic Gulf State Park is a great place for friends to stay. On the Gulf and cared for by Hilton Hotels, the property will care for your every need. Included on site are restaurants that included breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and everything from the finest steak and seafood to a morning cup of coffee or afternoon appetizers and cocktails. The Lodge promotes 350 rooms, and many have balconies with great views of the Gulf and Park. There are a few room layouts, so if you have friends that are interested, you can find details on the Gulf State Park website. You'll find alligators almost anywhere in the park, and here is where we found them. Please note that feeding any wildlife in Gulf State Park is forbidden and could lead to human injury or park officials killing the animal you fed for the safety of others. Keep your distance and use a zoom lens. Alligators can be found on the bike trail. You will see alligators on the Rosemary Dunes Trail. Look for wildlife signs and fence, and you are in the right place. On the Cross Park Trail Bridge between Little Lake and Middle Lake, alligators are known to swim between the lakes. On the Lake Shelby Overlook Trail, alligators are known to sun themselves next to the creek. On the Gopher Tortoise Trail, alligators will sun themselves near water. By the campground store at the docks, we've seen an alligator at night. Carry a flashlight at night, and we wouldn't recommend letting your dogs get a drink of water from the lake. Although we've never seen one at Hidden Lake, we know that others have. In the campground, alligators will hang out near any amount of water. Basically, keep your eyes open and explore the park, and you will see alligators. We still have the canal sites coming up next. Also watch the video or playlist at the end for more views of Gulf State Park, and stay until the end for sites 321 to 335. There's a lot more to come. 
It's a quiet cul-de-sac with a great trail connector you don't want to miss. The canal sites are the most expensive and always booked first. Note that these sites have no shade and no shelter from the wind. We found out a week after we left that a trailer actually tipped over in a windstorm. It rolled from the canal across the street and stopped when it collided with a fifth wheel on the opposite site. Two people were inside the trailer when it happened and were cared for by first responders. Still, Gulf State Park is an amazing adventure and there is something for everyone. Again, watch the video or playlist at the end to learn more.
The park is so big and we had so much to do, we didn't get to about 100 sites on this tour. They are generally the same and provide a similar experience. Other videos on YouTube share those sites and can be found searching Gulf State Park Campground Campsite Photos.